Hello and welcome to yet another philosophical improvisation. Today we will speak about philosophy. Philosophy has had many definitions over the time and not so long ago it was considered a lost cause. Some astrophysicists such as Stephen Hawking even claimed that philosophy was dead, which was of course but a privileged claim coming from a community, the uh, physicists and astrophysicists and cosmologists who propose cosmologies and explanations of the universe that were once the privilege of philosophers. What we can say, in fact, is that we can predict, not with absolute certainty, because precisely my discourse doesn't emanate from the position of a scientist, but from the position of a philosopher, which means someone who questions the idea of absolute certainty. Nevertheless, we can predict that philosophy is going to make a comeback, is already making a comeback, for one reason that is not often mentioned. And that reason is what I call the anthropotic era, the anthropotic moment of the human history. Today, philosophy is an interface. It is an interface between the human reality and emotional reality and the computer world, the computer sciences. Philosophy functions as an interface because it is neither emotionally intelligent in the sense of manipulating the right signs and conventions of the effective states of humanity. And one could argue that philosophy is also not thinking computationally enough. But precisely because philosophy is neither fitted for human discourse, neither for robotic discourse, automated discourse, it occupies a position at the border between both, and that becomes, instead of being a pitfall, it becomes an advantage, the advantage of connecting the computerized, the digital, and the human, which is what the 21st century will be about, anthrobotics. That's it for today. This was yet another philosophical improvisation. And see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.